Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm doing a video on a brand new floor plan by Keystone Sprinter. It's the Keystone Sprinter 3611 FW front kitchen. So this is a front kitchen fifth wheel, which really has a lot of benefits to it. I'm excited to show this to you today. So I'm going to flip this camera around and we will take a look at this new Keystone Sprinter floor plan. This Keystone Sprinter, uh, a little history on the Sprinter line. The Sprinter was uh, the very first brand for Keystone. Uh, so it's always been a renowned brand at Keystone and they really put a lot of effort and built a lot of value into the Sprinter brand. Uh, the front cap here is really spectacular. It's a solid fiberglass front cap with a uh, automotive windshield inlaid inside of it. So this design right here kind of looks like a police officer badge or something. Uh, that big thing is all one window there. LED light strip above where it says Sprinter as well really helps offset it at the campground and then when you there's a lot of stuff on this front cap to look at when you're backing up into this front cap it has a mirror up front here so you're going to be able to get your fifth wheel hitch right into the kingpin the first time also this being part of the keystone brand of products it comes with the keystone industry's best three-year structural warranty and i've actually done a video on this warranty and as long as i've been in the business about 10 years that's the strongest warranty that i have come across uh, from keystone or really from any rv uh, producer so uh, this comes standard with the road armor hitch up front here what that gives you is this pivoting head that's going to uh, limit some of the chucking they call it or basically where you feel like your fifth wheel is really pushing on you uh, that's going to limit that three slide outs on this side here comes with the two 30 pound propane bottles those are your big propane bottles and it also has four point auto leveling. So this is very similar to what you see in big expensive class A diesel pusher motorhomes has on this fifth wheel. Pass through storage up front here. The door on the other side is much larger, but the storage compartment is nicely uh, finished out with linoleum down here. Uh, and you can also see into the floor joist there, nice aluminum floor joists that just kind of let you know the construction of it this compartment also is heated so you're going to be able to store maybe some liquids in here and they're not going to freeze on you has uh, your docking station here which is an outside shower uh, and also your city water connection and a black tank flush so to clean out your black tank your toilet tank it's got a it's got a valve for that Two axles on here with really nice uh, alloy wheels and also has the road armor suspension on it by Trail Air. That also is just going to improve the ride of this fifth wheel so when you get to your destination your uh, plates will hopefully still be in your cabinets and not ricochet out. So this is one of those rams. There's actually four of these on the trailer uh, include, which includes the two front up front there, the landing gear. So that's how it's going to level the motor home. Look how beefy that is. It's adjustable uh, and it's a nice, nice thing to have. So when you get to your campground, there's no driving up on blocks of wood or nothing like that it's just done so this storage under here is going to be the size of a king bed because it's underneath your king bed uh, i've got the 50 amp power cord in here as well but huge storage underneath here coming to the rear of the fifth wheel has a ladder to get up onto the roof to do your roof maintenance it is a walkable roof some more storage back here And more to the fun side of the camper. It does have a power awning. Now, I don't have it out all the way, uh, but this power awning is unique. It has the speakers and the arms up here. So you're going to get some good acoustics coming off of that. And also, it uh, overhangs this outside kitchen, which is nice. going to protect you from the maybe the rain if it's uh, a little wet out that day when you need to be at this outside kitchen. Here's your dorm style refrigerator. fit a lot of pops and things it's like that in there. And then it has this really nice uh, metal tray that pulls out. It's going to be a workstation over here. I like that it's metal because it's going to get wet. And uh, also has two burner gas range there. And then some really big cabinets for storage up here. So you can maybe put your blenders and things of that sort in here. And you do have power. There is also a light in here as well. 
And then this is just the other side of your pass-through storage. Again, bigger door. The door itself is actually has a magnetic catch there. So let me get the angle on that. So just a hands-free latch. And then also outside here has a, a spot to mount a television. The mount's already there and it comes with both pieces. So you can mount your television right there. It has your coaxial cable here and your antenna cable uh, for whichever you're going to use there and your power down there. Sorry for any wind noise it's not windy today, but it's absolutely beautiful. All right, again, this is the 3611 FW FKS. It's got a little latch here for your dog leash. All right, let's check out the inside. I'm going to look forward because that's what is attractive to me on this fifth wheel is this giant front kitchen up here. So let's start up here. This is the frontmost of the fifth wheel front kitchen. Usually your bedroom's up here in a fifth wheel, right? But they change it up. The bedroom's in the back. So we get a lot of customers asking, hey, I want a bedroom in the back because I'm at a campground and the road's up front and I don't want to hear the road noise and the kids playing at night. I want to be in the back, right? This is the fifth wheel for you. Two steps to get up into the kitchen here. It has a nice railing, a little bit of help to get up the steps. And then here's your kitchen. So this kitchen's gonna feature a lot of storage. Notice all the cabinets, the drawers, uh, plenty of storage, and also a lot of countertop room. So the countertop here is gonna be a rock type countertop. Uh, it's LG countertop and uh, it's really nice. It's gonna be more of your premium countertop. It's not pressed together sawdust or anything like that. It's really like a rock type material has the really big uh, stainless steel uh, single basin sink, which I at first when I come across these, I was like, I don't like those. I like the split sinks. But then I realized, well, the split sinks are small, not like my split sink in my house. And they're so small, I can't even fit my skillet or my, you know, the thing I cook my eggs on in there to wash it. Uh, so I like the single sink here. Uh, you can fit the biggest of pots in there to clean them up and it has this really nice big residential style faucet there And then this here's that windshield. I was telling you about Isn't that cool a lot of natural light automotive grade Cool 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 windshield got plenty of plug-ins up here some USB up here And there's also normal plug-ins quite a few in the kitchen here uh, over here is your gas range top. It's three burners. Uh, does have the countertop extender, uh, which is this glass cover. So when you're not using it right, you don't want to cook with that down. That won't end up well. But when you're not using it and you need the space for countertop, you can fold over that glass top and do it like that. And then your gas oven down here does have the door so you can see inside. Uh, look at that. Built in pet station so you got your water tray and all that and if you don't need it all that's removable of course but i like that it's in that drawer so it kind of just stays there residential style refrigerator it's a big refrigerator right so two drawers for uh, your freezer big refrigerator there and then you have a pantry off to the side here um and i'll get to this here really like about this kitchen just all this floor space so plenty of room to move around someone can be at the fridge you can easily pass behind someone can be at the sink or at the stove you just have a lot of room because if you're like my family everyone likes to congregate in the kitchen right so you have a little eating station up here a little bar with two stools nice area and then coming down into ooh, i like this view uh check out the lights above the eating station that's nice but uh coming down in here to the living area so the kitchen is separate from the living area some fifth wheels that gets blurred like what's the tv room what's the kitchen this is a definite split so the kitchen uh is what we just looked at living room down here 50 inch television has a 31 inch fireplace below it and also the television comes from the factory with a sound bar so if you're familiar with flat screen televisions they typically don't have the best sound so you end up buying the sound bar it's nice that this is all done by the factory because it looks clean right now that sound bar is also uh, bluetooth capable so you can connect your phone and all that jazz to it as well and good viewing from both the couch that couch is going to come out for extra sleeping it's about a queen size bed 
really comfortable too. So uh, if you're familiar with hotel sleeper sofas, they're not comfortable. These are. They're engineered uh, by RVers and they're really, really comfortable. Uh, the theater seats here is uh, going to be the Thomas Paine theater seats. Uh, they recline as you can see both sides do. A couple beverage holders here in the center console and uh, just a nice comfortable place to sit down and watch TV maybe at the end of the day. All right, coming back, now we're about the center of the fifth wheel. We're going to the rear of the fifth wheel, and the, the entry door is right here. So as soon as you walk in the entry door, you have this right here, which is your command center. Uh, this is going to do a lot of different things. So it's going to tell you your levels of your tanks, right? It's going to turn on a lot of the lights. Uh, your water heater on this is either gas or electric. It works off both sources of power. So if you're at a campground and you've got to pay for the electric anyways, just use the electric and save your propane. You can put out all four slide outs here. Uh, you can retract the awning, which is what I'm doing right now. It's a little windy outside. And you can turn on your awning light all from this panel. It's neatly done uh, and uh, really nice. Uh, instead of having a bunch of buttons just spread throughout the wall, it's nice having it organized like that. All right, through this room here, really close to the entrance door as well, right, is the bathroom. So guests are over underneath the awning, need to use your restroom. They don't have to track through your bedroom to get to that, which I like. Typically in fifth wheels, the, the bathroom and bedroom are kind of like one and the same, right? So you have a separate bathroom. Plenty of floor space, has the glass shower surround, so you don't need to mess with the shower curtain. And height, I tell you what, sometimes height can be an issue in the bathrooms, but this being a bathroom down the steps towards the rear of the fifth wheel, you have, I don't know, over eight foot tall, I would say, uh, of interior heights here. So sink and then really big storage here uh, for your extra toilet paper bath towels and things of that sort so i like the bathroom all right coming all right this is the rear most of the fifth wheel now and this is your bedroom so it's a nice bedroom it has a king bed in here and it's on a slide out so you get a lot of room both on each side of the bed and at the foot of the bed you have a lot of storage here you have plenty of drawers full depth drawers too i mean you can get to the back of the drawer so you have five drawers just right there in your chest of drawers. Uh, you've got some, some unique things back here. So inside this store here is going to be uh, some storage area, but really what it is, is a spot for a washer dryer. So you already have it plumbed and uh, for electricity and water back here. So that's a cool area there. You don't need a washer and dryer in there. You just have a big storage closet. And then your hanging clothes are gonna come in here. I love these doors. It's kind of like the old school barn style doors. We're just going to pull open and what you have back here is uh you know your closet rod so you have your hanging rod there and plenty of room you can put stuff down on the ground in here too so it's typically what i see in big motor homes this floor plan really uh something really a floor plan i like and i think a lot of people will appreciate so i'm going to post a link below that has current pricing availability pictures of this floor plan along with some other keystone springdale so check out those links i'll also post a link down below uh so you can learn about who we are because you're like well who's this guy well just read our google reviews i'm I don't really want to say who we are or anything. Just read our Google reviews. You'll see why customers are coming from all over the country to do business with us. Uh, check those out. I'll post a link so you can access those. And also, I'll post a link if you're looking to upgrade. We'd love to have your trade in. So uh, we can provide a no obligation quote to uh, value your trade right from our website. So very easy to do. Uh, the website guys have spent a lot of time on this. So we can get everything correctly without having to see your, your RV. So makes it nice. And also financing. So uh, finance rates are really good right now. Um, I imagine they're going to go up because I don't think they can go much lower. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that opportunity there uh, while it's still here. So thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, have fun out camping. If you find yourself in the store, also come up and see me and uh, say hi.